There are many questions we can answer in physics, but one of the most fundamental ones that we very seldom ask is what is space? It's something. It's very clearly not nothing. It bends in the presence of matter, it contracts and it expands. It's very clearly something, but what is it? One of the most important things to note is that the description or definition of any entity within the universe can refer only to other things inside that universe. If something has a position, that position can only be defined by comparing it to the position of something else in the universe. If that thing has a velocity or a motion, that motion can only be defined by comparing it to the motion of other things in the universe. There is no meaning to space that is independent of the relationships that exist between the things in the real world. Space is not a stage that is either full or empty. Space only exists as a relationship among the other things that exist. Space is kind of like a sentence. It's ridiculous to talk about a sentence with no words in it. Sentences have grammatical structures that are defined by the relationships between the words in them, like subject or object or adjective noun. If you take away all the words of a sentence, you don't have an empty sentence, you have no sentence. But wait up, Lawrence. Didn't you just say that space is something? Well, yeah, yeah I did. So I should probably clarify. Space is made of stuff. It's something. But that stuff that makes up what we call space relates to itself. Well, that was probably no help. Let me try one more time. A confusing part about this whole what is space thing is the fact that Einstein's general theory of relativity can consistently describe a universe with nothing in it. So it leads people to believe that space is an absolute, like Newton thought. But that's wrong. The mistake is in thinking that the relationships have to exist between actual particles. We have to remember that the universe is made of fields as well. Fields are quantities that vary continuously over space, like the electromagnetic field. And that's what causes those weird lines when you put a magnet under a sheet of iron flakes. There's also a gravitational field, which is what Einstein's general theory of relativity describes. A gravitational field is like an electromagnetic field, but it requires three field lines to make up. Two sets of field lines that link and not in exactly the same way describe the same physical situation. So in conclusion, space is just a bunch of fields, and what we call position and motion are just relationships within those fields. There's way more to this topic. Space even has an intrinsic structure, but we'll get into that later. If you like the content, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to this channel. Be sure to share if you learned something, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, it's just as you assume it's nothing but these humans would like to blame mythology for everything they're doing. They pray for non-existent gods to clean up the mess, but never take responsibility, just claim it's a test. See that religion you've been given is shit and it's all poison. And it's partially the reason we bleed and it's all poison. Though your worldview is poison, and your outlook is poison. Denied all you want, but the truth is it's all poison.